happy Friday. I've got so many good things to show you today. I'm very excited. I'm having to calm down. I've got things split up in kind of winners and losers for the week, some reviews to give you. Then I've got some new items back here on my rack, like the old days. I've got a little bit of Target today. I know you guys like Target, and I would probably shop there more too, but it's kind of far away. But I placed an order at Target for some things for Christmas and everything, and then that inspired me. You know what? One thing that really inspired me to go is Brooke told me about this little set, this little ColourPop set of lip liners. And she said it was really good. It is ColourPop for Target, the Lippy Pencil Trio. It's O Snap Shot Clock and Bichette. So they looked like my colors, you know? Like this one might be a little dark, but I still like the dark ones sometimes. Ooh, I don't think it's too dark. I think it might be too bright. But these two look like me. I also placed an order at Ulta this week and got some Jaclyn Hill. One of my friends, Melody, told me about some good Jaclyn Hill lip liners, and then I ordered those Bare Mineral lip liners that I didn't get from Sephora. So, oh gosh, you guys, look at that. That is a good one. That is a good one. Which one is that? Shot Clock. And then we know this one's gonna be good. It's just a good nude. Yeah, this one looks just like Lancome um, Natural Mauve. Okay, so the best one is definitely Shot Clock. What is this one? Oh, snap. <laughs> I like that. So I will give these a try. I'm also going to do, I don't know if you saw my Walmart drugstore nude lip combos. If you didn't, I will post that up here. But I'm going to do that for higher end lipsticks too. And then I thought about doing it with just MAC. Just for old time sake, just do like some really good nude lips with MAC. Okay. Ooh. That was, that was just telling you why I went to Target. Now let's just get right into the winners and the losers of the week. Because when I show you things here, I may not have tried them. So when I try them, especially if they're bad, I want to tell you like so quickly because I'm so scared you got it. But we're all so different. So the first thing is this JVN Complete Blowout Styling Milk. I guess we're going to start with the losers. I didn't like this. If you watched my closet clean out video, if you didn't, I will put it right up here. I just did half of my closet. I'm going to do the other half hopefully this week because I hate it when I'm halfway through something, but I want to do it with you guys. You will see how my hair like, oh, I got uh, two inches cut off yesterday. I went and got my roots done and my uh, different toner. But you'll notice in that video, it's not like bendy and flowy. It's more like stick straight. And that is because this has a little bit of hold in it. And I should have known. And you know, I might even give it another chance when I'm curling it. Maybe it's because I did it more of my straight look, which, <laughs> I've done so many videos this week. If you didn't see my hair video where I do my, I don't really consider it a straight look and it's not really a blowout look, but it's how I like my hair where it's kind of smooth and straight up here, but kind of undone. I will post that video up here. I'm going to do a lot more hair videos because I like doing them and you guys like watching them. Okay, another thing that I did not like, I haven't even shown you this, but I was in Ulta and I was in the checkout line. Tis the season. There's already a great big line. And I saw this cute little guy sitting there and I'm kind of partial to the whole honey thing because my father-in-law that has passed away used to raise bees and, you know, made honey, sold and had honey. And so it just grabbed my attention. It's warm vanilla and amber. It smells so good. It's, it's not very strong at all. And I like it, but this sucker is hard. It's not, 
you cannot, I don't know how in the world you would ever be able to squeeze this lotion. Like he's hard and the lotion is thick. So it's just not a good combo in this situation. And so I will use it or I'll probably give it to Brooke because I'm not much on using things that are complicated. She may like it, but I just wanted to tell you, if you see him, I think there's like a little set that may be better, but I love that lotion. The, um, oh, this is Hemp's Bare Body. I wonder if that is limited edition. Anyway, okay, and then in my, I think it was my lips video, I showed you a little gift set. Got them at Walmart and I got the little set for Brooke. Well, she came over the other night and she picked two and then I, got the one that she didn't want and that was the stress relief which I really like this whole eucalyptus citrus spearmint type thing anyway kind of like that spa smell it's not that it doesn't smell good it's definitely not too heavy it's very very light that's what I would say I burnt it just one time the other night and it just like if it wasn't there burning on the candle I don't think I would have ever thought about it so I mean, it's not that it was bad, it just wasn't that good. So I would rather you spend your money on things that I know are good. Like, so I have any other losers here? I think that was all of my losers. Okay, I have a lot of winners. Oh, okay. This palette is so good. It's that Pat McGrath palette, Pat McGrath Labs palette from the Sephora sale. It is so good. I'm wearing it today, a really good highlighter. I really love that blush. I already did, Desert Orchid, and then that's Nude Venus. Like if I wanted more color, I, I like the Nude Venus. I don't know if I've ever tried. Um, oh, that's Paradise. Ooh, I do have that too in that little combo. Okay, so I, can, I need to give those to my mom. I can get rid of those, but this palette is really good. I love it. I've used it all week. Okay, brushes. I put all of my brushes away and I've just been using the new Beautylish, this Yano series by Beautylish. Remember I got these with the gift card event and I have the face set and the eye set and then I was kind of like missing some things. So I went ahead and got that new set of BK Beauty and put those out there too. This is what I have noticed. From the eye set of the Yano series, this is my favorite. The other ones, I like them, but not enough to tell you you need them. They're kind of different, and I don't think they're, I think they're for the makeup lover and the brush lover, but I don't think that they're mainstream, but this one. I really love this one. It's the Brush 09 from this Yano series, so it's like a Japanese... See how it's kind of like a 217 from MAC, but it's natural hairs and it's just a really good brush. I've been using it every day. And then this one is my favorite from the face brush set. And it is the O2. It is a very cool brush because if you want a contour, you put your brush in the contour or the bronzer and you just go like this but then if you want more of the whole cheek like I usually do you turn it this way more of the width instead of just like this and I use it for everything so I'll do my bronzer with it then I'll go right into that palette do my highlight and then I do my blush last and then I'll wipe it off and then put it back up and it just cleans well, and I love it. Okay, I was just putting that JVN blowout stuff up, and I kind of take that back a little bit because maybe that's really meant for a bouncy, round blowout, whereas I do more of a straight blowout. So let me just hold judgment on that, and we will try that soon. I'll try it, and I'll maybe do Velcro rollers or something like that, because I felt bad. <laughs> I was like, well, maybe this is good. My friend Corey sent me the Moroccan oil with the pump. She works for the Beauty Supply, and she sent this to me, so I am so excited. It's She sent me the light, and this was interesting because she said it's not just light treatment, 
It's for light colored hair. And that's what it says, for fine or light colored hair, which is so interesting. So I told her I wanted to try this one just to see, because I've never, I don't know if I've ever tried the light. Thank you, Corey. I appreciate that so much. And then Laura Mercier sent me their Wrapped with Love Holiday 22 little gift sets. So I just opened one because I have, I don't have a lot of patience with opening packages and I didn't want to have to get violent in front of you guys. <laughs> but this little package comes with the, it's the Flawless Encounter Translucent Loose Setting Powder and Puff. So here is the, they do really well, I think, with their packaging. Okay, the rain's going away and the sun's coming out. That's awesome. So if you were to give this out as a set, which would be a wonderful gift, a very pretty and practical gift. Laura Mercier is just the gold standard to translucent powder, I think. So the next one is, okay, a brush set. An artist gift brush collection. That's always a great gift too. In this little, looks like a handbag. Okay, yes, I just got this yesterday. It's got all the different brushes. This is a good one here, I can already tell. Look at that, little crease brush. So yes, that is a wonderful gift. What is this one? This one is the Smoky Eyeliner Brush. So that is a fabulous gift. And speaking of gifts, I wanted to do just a gift recommendation video like I usually do. And I have, my list is long. So I'm gonna split it up. This weekend I'm gonna do skincare and makeup, things like that. And then I'm gonna do a fashion and shoes. And then I'm gonna do jewelry and sunglasses and then I'm gonna do home. So look for a lot of videos coming up because I just have a lot, I have a lot I want to do and I get excited, I just wanna do it. Okay, so the next one is, this is probably the most exciting when I opened it up, is it's $95, it's $151 value. It's the Lux Indulgence, Indulgence Ombre Vanille Collection. Love this. It's got the Eau de Toilette, let me show you the whole. The Honey Bath, the Ombre Vanille, Amber Vanilla um, Lotion, and the spray. And I haven't put any fragrance on today, so let me spray this. Oh man, that is so good. What does that remind me of? Have I already got this? No, I've got one that's similar from Estee Lauder. That's what it is. Oh my goodness, that is so good. That is like warm and sexy. That is a good one. So that is definitely a great gift. I definitely think that is a scent combination that is well loved by a lot of people. You would be really safe doing that. Okay, I'm gonna just get this sucker out of the way here because it's been staring at me the whole time. This is the Skims t-shirt bra with the underwire, yes. And I love it as far as it being comfortable. I love this color, but it was too big. I got the 34 double D and I probably either need the 34 D or the 32 double D. So it's a little too big for me, but I'm going to take it to my mom and see if she likes it because it's very, I mean, you know, I'm a skims girl. You're going to see, I'm like really into skims lately. I'm going to show you a lot of the dresses and stuff. So I'm going to do a video coming up soon on my favorite skims pieces. And I would not say this right now, but you know, I would say the thongs for sure. I ordered just some more nude ones. And then I've never ordered their socks. Thought I would just try them just to see and report back to you guys. I don't really like socks, but sometimes in the winter, I want some. Oh my gosh. Look, so this is made out of the same stuff that the camisole is. I can tell because that's how when you pull it out, you're gonna think, oh my gosh, is this a joke? These are the 
The color is Onyx, the Hosiery Low Ankle Sock. But the reason I got them is to wear with like the rag and bone sneakers if I want to or something like that. So they will stretch. I really like them. These are gonna be perfect for boots too. And then the next thing I have to show you is pretty exciting. It's actually with the winners this week and that is the new Mario palette. I, I kind of got a little scared that I wasn't gonna like this because I watched a few reviews and it was, you know, big time like makeup artists and you know, they just didn't seem that thrilled. That makes sense because a lot of times when they're thrilled with like the pigment and the glitter, it's just a little bit too much for me. So this is perfection. And you guys have been asking me all week in every video what eyeshadow I have on. And it was this. It is just beautiful. Like this color, I, this color and this color are the ones I start off with, just depending on how I feel. That's definitely more taupe. But that color, oh my goodness. Okay, let me, I'm gonna do this color and that color. And that is the swatches there. And well, let me put them right here. So you can see how pretty they are. That taupe, wow, that is a good taupe. Then I just happened to see a girl, I could not tell you her name, it's somebody I've never watched, and they were talking about this palette and dupes. And I'm not really a big dupe kind of person because I feel like, I mean, I don't know, sometimes I think people really stretch that a lot, but she was saying how similar that palette was to the Going Coconuts by ColourPop. And if you've been here with me, you know this is one of my all-time favorite palettes. I have never, it's kind of like a, a rare thing because I keep trying other palettes from ColourPop and none of them compare to this. Today I have on the, here, let me hold them. Okay, first let me swatch comparable shades here. Okay, I'll wipe my hands off on the microfiber. Okay, so I swatched this color in this color. So now let me swatch this color. Actually, I think it's more like this color and this color. Make sure I'm... Okay. And let's do... Well, it's gonna go with what I'm about to tell you. Okay, let me, let me do this other color too, just in case. This, this is called Lovely Bunch. Okay, and then the sparkly color. Okay, yeah. So you can see that they are extremely, extremely similar. The brush I used is the one from Beautylish. But the main difference I noticed is these are drier and not as pigmented as these. This is the eye I did with ColourPop. This is the eye I did with this. And see how the shimmery shade from the ColourPop is not that sophisticated kind of shimmer that the Mario palette is. The Mario palette one, let me try to get my bones calmed down here. The Mario palette is kind of clear with the shimmer in it, kind of like an overlay, whereas the one from ColourPop is just like full on shimmer. And I will say that the, see it almost looks glossy. And I love how the Mario one has, it almost looks, has like a purpley tone when it's on my lids. But here's the heartbreaker story. I think the Mario is sold out. I know it is on Sephora. It might be available on his website, but it's kind of expensive. I think it's like 60 some dollars. And I know, I think this is 19 or 20. So it's just, it kind of is, it is what it is. They're very similar. They're not the same, but 
if you don't want to spend the money, this, this has always been a good palette. The fact that this palette has come from my house years ago, made it through the clean out to the rental house, and then it made it through the clean out to here, this many times says how much I love this palette. This one though is like this one is more of luxury. <laughs> so I cannot say it's a total dupe, but it is. I mean, you can look at my eyes, look in my eyes and tell me which one do you like the best? Can you tell the difference? This is something that I got yet late yesterday and I have not even opened. It is a Dean Davidson collection. I believe this is gonna be his holiday. Yep, here's a note. Hi Lisa, I hope you like your new Midi Knockout Stud gift box. The one you're getting is the Cool Tone set, which will look amazing on you. Can't wait to see how you style them, B. Thank you, B. Okay, so this is his holiday gift box, introducing our best-selling Midi Stud in six limited edition gemstones. Just, I love these. This is one of my favorite parts of his collection because it is so, it's kind of like, you know, have you ever known that person that just had big diamond earrings and they wore them every day and they're just, you know, they're real and they just look so good with everything. That's what this is like to me. I just love how big and fabulous they are and yet simple. So it looks like they come in gray moonstone, blue slate, um, I don't know how to pronounce that. Is it Amazonite? Amazonite. Uh, peach Moonstone. Oh, that's pretty. Rosewood and Dark Honey. Discover our all-time best-selling stud in two stunning new color palettes. Warm hues and cool tones. Complete with limited edition gemstones and holiday packaging, the Midi Knockout Stud Gift Box is the gift of the season, while quantities last an exclusive price of 30% off. Dean is very, very generous. Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, so it's in a different box like this, like that's it. And then, is this a sleeve? Oh, it opens like this. Wow, that is cool. I had no idea it was going to be three. Oh goodness, okay. Okay, this is, this is a good gift. This is a really good gift. Okay, so you open it up, and I got the Emma, how do I, I'll have to look it up. Amazonite. Yeah. Amazonite. Okay, Amazonite. Amazonite. Okay. <laughs> so I love the Amazonite. Wow. And this is the midi. Now I like the midi, and I like the big ones too, but for a gift, this is perfect. Those are beautiful. They are gonna show up so good with like all black or your, it reminds me of, you know, I love turquoise. So yeah, it's gonna show up. This, this will look great with a white t-shirt. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so let's see what the next one is. So it comes out like a little drawer. Okay, this one is the gray moonstone. Very chic. I love those. Wow. I love those. Those are so pretty. I say this is the blue slate. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me take one of these out so you can really see. And his earrings have a really nice, pretty back on them too. But this is the blue slate. Wow, Dean. You did so good. That is beautiful. So the warm set would have peach moonstone, rosewood, and dark honey. That is beautiful. So I do think this would be a great gift. It would be a really good, or you could split these up if you wanted to and have three really good gifts. If you wanted to, like I'm always thinking of you know, teachers, mother-in-law, sister-in-law, you know, people that you want to get them something nice, but sometimes you don't know what to get, that would be good. So thank you so much, Dean and his team for sending that to me. 
Okay, first of all, is this cashmere sweater from J. Crew. I was so excited because I thought it was going to be on sale, but it's not. But you guys, it is just so good. I wore another one yesterday that I'm going to show you. This is what I love about it. I love the, that it's cropped, but not cropped so much that your stomach sticks out. It is cropped. It hits jeans perfectly. It will look good with so many things. It's 100% cashmere, so it feels like delightful. Here, let me push you guys back some. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. Anyway, so just the best. I think it's like 118 or something like that. It comes in all kinds of colors. Of course, this is the black. I will wear this. It's just going to be like a go-to piece. I love it. Also, a perfect gift. This is the one I wore yesterday. When I put this on, I immediately took a picture of it and sent it to a friend to just show her how perfect this sweater is. Even the, the name of it, I can't remember. There's another one that is kind of like this. I think this was called Lux Camel. And I went right to order a bunch of them because I thought they were on sale. And I don't, I still want to order like maybe one or two more. But man, when they, when I thought they were 40% off, I was going to just like stock up, but just beautiful, beautiful. I will put a picture in here of me wearing it yesterday and just so easy to layer over. Just perfect. Perfect. I ordered these from Target when I was online and I just told myself here, I told myself if they were cheesy, cheap, uncomfortable, or anything was wrong with them, I would just take them back. I got them in the mail and they are really, really nice. I'm trying to get them where you can see them. See how they're like they're padded. They don't have a goofy heel and they're rubbery. I mean, not like crazy rubbery, but enough where it's going to, you're not going to slip and it's going to give you a little bit of like shock resistance. And then I saw these online but I was scared to order them because I was scared they would be cheesy. And I was in the like clothing department and these were there like up on a shelf and it's their clogs. The nude, I'm not crazy about the black because I don't really like it when it's black with a wood tone heel. I prefer a solid black, but these I thought were pretty cool. And I know a lot of you like clogs, me included, or mid eighties when these really came back during then and I thought I was just something because they were high heels. So I'm going to try these both on for you. Okay, this is the biggest winner and then the Mario palette is the next biggest winner. You guys, these rag and bone sneakers are so comfortable that the other day I had them on and I literally did not take them off until I was getting undressed for bed or to get in the shower. It was just like, I sat down and I was like, I cannot believe I wore a pair of sneakers all day. They are the coolest, richest looking, non-clunky. They even, I'm real funny about how things make me stand and walk. I felt like I even walked nice in these. They kept me real, because I have a tendency to walk like this and they kept me real straight. And so I immediately went to the website to see if there was any more color combinations that I wanted. And I just really, really like these the most. But there are several like corduroy, um, red, you know, all kinds of color combinations. But I think it's just the fact that they're black, they're slim, they're comfortable, they're very sophisticated looking sneakers. I love them. I think they would also be a great luxury gift because they are pretty expensive, but I just can't say enough good about these. And I did not think this out. I think you'll still be able to see me. Okay. You guys, these are so comfortable. You know, years ago when Brooke started working at Ulta, we got her and then I got them a pair of boots there and they were like her best boots for work. 
I hope you can see them. It's hard for me to see what you can see right now. They're perfection. And they're um, like right now, like they're sticking to the floor. They're rubbery. So they're not slippy. And they're just, they are very bendy and comfortable. Must-haves. I would say just get them. I don't even, I cannot even imagine why in the world anybody wouldn't like these. And I got my true size eight. Those are good. They're, they're going to be so good with everything. Like even today with my, these are the Lulu lemon groove pants in that color that I told you I liked so much. And I even like them with this. I mean, especially with a big jacket on or something, perfect. Okay, this is not a real wood heel. It is faux it is faux wood, very comfy on the inside, very comfortable, still a little cloggy, you know, but I'm going to do like this so you can see, but very comfortable, a generous size. They're true to size two. They, I think you would have room for socks if you wanted them. But I think if I were going to do clogs, I mean, it, they would have to be something really simple like this. And Veronica Beard always has good clogs. I saw, oh, and uh, Prada has good clogs too. But for the money, I don't think you're going to be able to beat these. So I definitely like the black sandal high heels better because that's my thing. But these are worth trying. These are the universal thread. And those are a new day. This is something I have been like Jones in four, and it was always sold out. I think I mentioned it a while ago. It is the Lululemon belt bag, but in the Sherpa. So John helped me last night adjust it to fit. Oh, I love it. Now, you know I love the Kate Spade belt bag too. Okay, this one. Wow. So it has a zipper in here for things that only you can get to, of course. And then it has this main compartment. Let me see. Get my hair out of the way. Wow, it has like a mesh pockets. It would really keep you organized. Like, I always think I'm getting ready to go out of town soon and I'll, I'm definitely taking this. Now, I would wear this with a black dress in a skinny minute, and I would also wear it over a blazer, and I would wear it just like I am now. And I could wear it up higher, but I kind of like it low. And you could put your blazer on over it. And, you know, I really like the gold hardware, too. It really takes it up a notch. It is just, and I think it was less than $50 or something. Maybe it was definitely less than $100. So, so happy to get this. Okay, this is another sweater from J. Crew. I got on sale, and it is the, it's not cashmere, but it's called like a super soft something something, and it's made from alpaca and a little bit of wool, and um, I think nylon or something else, but it is super soft. It's kind of um, boingy, <laughs> kind of thick, but I just, this is your ultimate cool girl sweater. You know what I mean? Like this and your sweatpants, your leggings, your yoga pants, your jeans, anything, and a big, blazer, faux fur, moto jacket, anything you were to put over this. It's got that good like waistband. I'll use these in videos coming up. Like I said, you know, you guys, my Friday haul viewers, you guys are special to me because I feel like most of you have been here with me from the beginning. So I think it's cool that you get to see what's coming up. So these are coming up in some style videos that I will show you soon. Okay, the next sweater, this is one that my friend Corey that sent me the Moroccan oil, she sent me a picture of this and said that she bought it and she really liked it. And it's from The Drop, the long cuff, love it. 
that this is the weight of my heart is the long cuff like that the puff sleeves and the it's kind of cropped so this I will be styling soon I can just see this with light denim kind of like my 90s jeans that I wore yesterday from Gap and these shoes I mean and or something a little bit or a flare crop with these shoes just so pretty and this is really cottony feeling let me see what it's made of because this goes in nylon but it feels really good like really soft and just has that good hearty feeling this would be a great hostess or host yeah hostess top to have on like for the holidays with whatever name your bottom even the groove pants in black and it would be something that's nice when people come over you know put your good earrings on and everything but yet you would be comfortable lulu back to lulu i had ordered these when i bought my regular ones they did not have the groove split in the store so i had to order them and i just got them it was way over a week but they're just hard to beat they're good pants and i love this color but i always just recommend getting black first and then going with some colors and then when i ordered the this belt bag i also ordered this little jacket that i was telling you guys i wanted to try i think it's like one of their most popular little jackets and it's kind of like that look you're a fit fit mom look it's size six it's the define jacket luon and i really like some days i kind of like this look you know your black leggings or those black groove pants and just i don't even have to have much underneath this just this zipped up it's kind of like your top it just gives you that really chic look that but is very very comfortable and you just look like you are so together and you can just go anywhere like even though this is workout wear it still gives you that really polished chic look i guess i'm trying to say just very happening very flattering so I'll this is fabulous i was walking through target looked over it was on the aisle what does this remind you of the jacket that Carrie was wearing when she went to the hospital and she had a dress on and Steve told her that Big was trying to get up with her. And they only had two extra larges left. It's $40 and I just figured I was going to make it work. So, oh my goodness, you guys. Okay. It's definitely too big, like through the bottom but I don't care. Very cool. You need it. You need it. This and the shoes. This over a black dress and these shoes that I have on. Just a fabulous night out. I love it. I would say size up. I think a large would have been perfect, but I'm going to make this extra large work. Now we're getting to the Skims dresses. Now I told you last week that one of you asked me, and I want you to know I do pay attention, even if like sometimes I'm not home, I'm on my phone and I can barely get a comment to come up because the reception or the Wi-Fi is bad and I'll read it and I can't respond. So one of you asked me about the Amazon dress that is a dupe. I think you sent me a direct message. So I got it. I have not tried it on. I will. Maybe I'll try this on in the same video that I'm doing the Skims dresses, but I can tell you right now, I only had to like see the package to know it is not the same. It is not the same quality. I love this color. This smoky brown purple color is one of my all time, all time favorite colors. So I am glad I got it. And who knows when I put it on, I just got it yesterday. When I put it on, I might 
just love it so much, but it's not as thick or as nice as the Skims dresses, but you know, it's it's not as much either. So we'll see that when I do the, the video. And then one of you asked me, the other dresses I always talk about, was it the smooth or something? I can't remember what these are called. So I, I had never heard of those. So I went on the website and I ordered the, this is um, modal nylon and spandex, size small, but I don't see the actual name, but it comes up higher, you know, like a halter. But look at this. It has the little keyhole opening on the back. So this is the smooth one and it comes in different styles and it actually comes with a bra built into it. This is gonna be uber, uber sexy. When I was younger and I always dreamed of, you know, when I had my own house and my own apartment, I always dreamed of, and this is what I do, and that's what you should do, things that you always dreamed of, no matter how silly they might sound to someone else, when you can, do it. And then you're in, in even that thing, you will level up and level up. But I always loved the idea of being dressed up at home, just walking around my house or my apartment, dressed, not dressed up, but I wanted to look good even when I was by myself. And then I always loved that whole feeling of when you have a date over or like just when it's John and I here, people ask me about date night. Every night's date night with us because we're here, you know, it's just John and I and Will and he's in his room half the time or gone. So anyway, what I was going to say is if you are you know, having date nights and you're having your boyfriend over, wowza, what a sexy outfit. Me, I just like walking around feeling like this, you know, and that's part of life and the joys of life are doing the things that make you happy and make you feel good. Okay, this one is the same fabric. Um, gosh, no slit in the back. So it's still gonna be that long, and I mean, they're long. They're to the floor, but they do kind of cinch up. You'll see that when I try them on. But this is that same fabric, the smoother fabric, which I do think is thicker than the ribbed, but you know I love the ribbed one. I will say the short one that I got, woo, I wore it out of the house. I didn't know I was gonna to go to Ulta, but I did, and I regretted it. It was too short, and it wasn't a dress. The short one is definitely more like a nightgown, but the longer ones you can wear out. And this one, this is every bit as nice. This is not just a lounge dress, this is a dress. I think this fabric really makes it a dress. Okay, then my friend Lisa sent me an email she got that they were coming out with shimmer. Well, you know I have that shimmer dress that I wore to the reward style convention that's black with the shimmers in it. And I just love that dress so much. I think I got it at, um, what is that place called? Starts with an R, Reformation. And so I had to do it. I got the pink in the little, what do we call that? It's kind of like a halter tank top type style. Look at this. The shade of pink couldn't be any prettier. It is like azalea pink. Just in the shimmers, it's not scratchy whatsoever. You could sleep in this. And the shimmers are so beautiful. It is not tacky at all. So I got the pink one in this style. And this is the ribbed fabric, like the originals. And then look at this. Woo! This is beautiful. This makes me happy. When I wear this, I won't care who sees me besides Sean. This, I will be happy in this. I would wear this out though. This, that's what, they're such a good deal. They're under $100 and I mean, they're just so nice and so flattering. And you know, it's the winter, so you're probably gonna have a jacket or a coat on over it. They're just beautiful. And then this is the black sparkly shimmer just the tank and it is like i said it is the ribbed this actually is kind of like what is that mac shadow 
remember there was carbon and then there was the other one that had the little bit of shimmer in it. That's what it reminds me of. Just gorgeous. And then I got the long sleeve one in that too because I just knew I would love that. I mean, just imagine it's Christmas morning. You want to have something comfortable on, but you want to have something pretty on, something like this. And then that is it. The rest of this stuff back here is from Lily Silk, and I'm doing a styling video this week with all of these pieces. Some really good ones. So stay tuned for that. And then, okay, I'll put this back up here because this is the J. Crew. Oh my goodness, you guys, just such good stuff. This sweater, there's just something so fabulous about that color too. The, sh the tone is just beautiful. And for accessories today, I have on my, this never focuses, there it goes, the Aaron Fader Wolf Ring. And don't forget to go over to Instagram and enter my giveaway for my subscribers. Enter, let's see, it'll be a link that is in my, it's our first one, we'll get better at this, but it's through a, you know, um, something like raffle copter or something like that. So that way I don't pick who the winner is, it just gets picked random, but it's for a $500 gift card to the retailer of your choice. You just click the link in my Instagram bio and then it tells you what to do to enter and it's not i did the minimum it's not jumping a bunch of hoops or liking all my neighbors posts or anything like that it's very simple and i'm going to announce the winner on thanksgiving i guess the thursday before black friday because i want you guys to have the money to spend on yourself or on gifts so don't forget about that follow me on like to know it that's going to be part of it because i do a lot of extra things over there I've just got, you know, this is, this isn't even work to me. This is like fun. I love it. And that's why I'm just ready to do more of it. Okay. My nail polish is OPI Funny Bunny. And my earrings are another awesome pair of the Jenny Bird. These little hoops that have the little ball thing on the back. They're kind of like Dior-esque looking. And I don't think I have on a necklace. That is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Friday haul. I love being here with you. I appreciate you so much. And I will see you. I'm going to make some videos this weekend, but I don't think I'll be posting them until Monday. So make sure you catch up and I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.